warfare is evolving, and so is the Joint Multinational Training Command. Future conflicts may include a combination of regular, irregular, and criminal elements. The Army's full-spectrum training environment empowers commanders to seize, retain, and exploit the initiative while synchronizing lethal and non-lethal actions based on an understanding of the operational environment and a unit's capabilities. What the full-spectrum training environment gives us is the opportunity to take all the lessons we've learned over the past 10 years and then take a look out at the world and say, what kind of complexity are we going to face in a post-Afghanistan, post-Iraq world? Planning for the FSTE began almost six months ago. There was a almost an instinctive muscle memory that said, okay, good, now we can go back to doing high-intensity conflict like we did in 1995 or 1985. And we had to really purge that from everybody's vocabulary and say, no, we're not going back to doing anything because the world's very different now. Planning for the 173rd's Airborne Assault Forced Entry Operation into theater meant the operations group would ensure their proficiency in observing training for airborne and follow-on combined arms maneuver operations. And who better to engage for additional expertise in airborne operations than the U.S. Air Force? At the same time, scenario participants, including observer controllers, op four, analysts, and training support staffs, had to evolve and refine their tactics, techniques, and procedures based on previous full-spectrum training in the U.S. and the added scope and complexity of a joint multinational training environment here in Europe. U.S. Army Europe's Rapid Reaction Force, the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team, is the first unit to test its readiness to simultaneously engage the various elements associated with a hybrid threat in a full-spectrum training environment. But they won't be alone. There's a benefit to being forward deployed. Because of the JMTC's geographic location in Europe, U.S. soldiers, partners, and allies train together regularly. Playing Op 4 is nothing new for the 1-4 Infantry Battalion. What's different is the shift from depicting Afghan or Iraqi insurgents to replicating a hybrid threat capable of unconventional and conventional tactics. Think of unmanned aerial systems. The Op 4 is going to have them. So if you're a soldier in the 173rd and you hear a UAS flying over your head, how do you know if that's friendly or enemy? And even if you know it's enemy, if it's painted red with a giant flag on it, how do you shoot it down? Training for FSTE meant paying special attention to the new tactics and equipment while also building relationships. The FSTE is the first large-scale combined maneuver with U.S. soldiers and Slovakian soldiers fighting side by side as the opposing force. A robust complementary simulation structure increases the training environment beyond the Hohenfels training area. We can then use this CTC rotation with simulation to bring in additional brigades within the United States Army Europe and they can use this live rotation and its expanded wraparound to, to train. One of those units is the 30th Medical Command. They're using the FSTE wraparound environment to meet their training objectives of setting up and operating a combat support hospital on the Grafenvier training area. For almost 60 years, U.S. Army Europe has stood alongside its European partners to promote peace and stability. The full-spectrum training environment synthesizes the power of those partnerships to prepare for and prevent future conflicts prevail over any threat and preserve stability in the region.